actually were being watched. Susan, we're in some kind of laboratory or something. The, the doctor and Ian? I don't know if they're here or not. But it's you and me he wants, isn't it? Yes. And after he's killed us, then it'll be Ian and Uncle. I'm ready, you say the word. Check the restraints. Susan, now! Wake up. We have to save Susan and Barbara. You know what the thing wants to do to them. Yes, I know. I know. It's no use. I can't shift it. What do we do? What do you suppose has happened? I don't know. They seem to go crazy. The robots? Yeah, whatever it was, they shouldn't expect it. Flashing light? I swear that wasn't there a moment ago. It wasn't. Count it. Count it? Don't question me, just count it. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two. That's it. That's the signal that brought us here. We located it on the TARDIS before, when there was no power here. The perfect one was right. We weren't brought to this place. Out there? We were called out there? Yes. Then think, man, and think. Out there is what? A uh, dead planet, a satellite of Luxor. But there's oxygen. It, it registered in the TARDIS when we arrived. Yes. So if we can break through this stuff, there's not much of a fall to where the shaft joins the mountain. But the gravity is only slightly less than Earth's. We can't risk broken legs. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got it, rungs. There are rungs that will line up against the metal wall up to the top of the dome. If we can break through this, we can climb up or down as we please. What are we waiting for? Shift out of the way. The light's on. So if I'm right about the other thing, the signal should be gone. Well? Nothing. Oh, wait! Over there! What is it? It's made by human hands, that's all that matters. The perfect one said there was no other place. The signal could come from there? Hope comes from there, Ian. Let's go. Enough. No man of Luxor has ever resisted 50,000 Lomatrons and lived. Yet these women creatures. The heart pulses. Unchanged. Remove the helmets. Oh, great Tabon, masters of the Master of Luxor. You have made me well. Now I experience a new sensation of wonder. See them, thing. 50,000 Lomatrons is not even marked. This Derotron registers no marks. Lifeless thing? Does it mean nothing to you that the life force is in these creatures powerful enough to surge undamaged into me? This unit does not understand. I understand. I was built to understand. Take them to the guest apartment. Make sure they are rested and fed. Force them to take food and wine if need be. I will see them there. The order is registered.
Bristol Three, in the halls of creation, we shall see him again. He remembers his friends and speaks with them. O oh Lord, please deliver them from flesh. I don't know. What do you make of it? Well, it's probably very old. There's no atmospheric disturbance, so it wouldn't wear the stone down. <clears throat> Sometimes civilizations can get on the wrong track. One of your writers, Karl Marx, he said that religion was the opiate of the masses. I don't think he was completely correct. It would have been more accurate to say religion sneering at scientific progress and scientific progress sneering at religion. These little people into sleep. There's your signal. Yes. This is either linked to the power or the lights in the prison. When they go off, this must withdraw and cease transmissions, or vice versa. Well, someone put it here, but who and when? Let's get this off. of some kind. It's hermetically sealed. If only I had some sort of sonic... What are you doing? Stronger. How long could he have been here and in a vacuum? Well, my own people have a simple form of holding life in a prolonged state of suspended animation without freezing cell tissue. Perhaps the masters of Luxor have discovered the same secret. How is it possible? I'll tell you later. What will happen now? He should be the same as before. Whatever that was. Let's hope he is who we think he is and not someone from old Jerispo III's time. How long is this going to take? I don't know. We can't wait, Doctor. If he can help us, he's got to do it now. Because you can bet your life that the perfect one isn't sitting around contemplating his spark plugs. I'm going to wake him. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Ian, you can't just explode a man from near death. Who do we take a chance with? Him or Susan and Barbara? Come on, come on, Grandpa, wakey, wakey. Nelson's been up since 6 o'clock. Come on, wake up. You're going to break his neck. I'll break his neck, all right. Him and his blasted kind. When I think of what they've done in the name of science. What have your people done in the name of science? A civilization that's almost made up his mind to go in the direction of this. We have enough enemies here. We need this man as a friend. A friend? Yes, yes, friend. Help me lift him out. Help me walk him around.
was only a test. For now. I'm glad it was only a test. I don't mind now. When they kill us. It was getting into that chair. Having the helmet lowered over me. All the preparations. And when the charge came. I don't know. I felt so calm. No, oh, that doesn't explain it. As though you'd won a great victory. That's it. I felt superior. You felt it too? I felt as though all the life I'd lived had been unimportant. This was the really great moment and nothing seemed to matter. The rest of my life was little things only. Did you feel anything physically? I don't think so. I think I just blanked out. I felt a tingle in my fingertips. I woke up here. I... I see you are from Luxor. What is your rank? No rank. I'm not from Luxor. I'm from Earth, the planet Earth. And this is the doctor whose ship we were in when a signal from this place pulled us off course and brought us here. Here. To this burial place? It's a long story. Who are you? You are flesh and blood. Yes. I am Tabon, exalted Lord of Adana, Warden of the High District, and Scientific Master of the Masters of Luxor. You come from back there, the prison, the robot place. Why didn't you let me sleep? Those great titles mean nothing. I'm a man too ashamed to die. Taven, look, we don't have time for your life story. Were you once one of the men who sat at that table? Yes. Yes, I sat at the head of that table. Sat there like a god. We've been there. We escaped from there when we saw your signal flashing. We desperately need your help. 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 A stranger from Earth. I am too afraid to even die. There are two more of our number. Two women. They're trapped there by a thing that calls itself the perfect one. Now, I don't know how long you've been out, I don't know how much you know or what you remember, but he's experimenting on people and he's taking their lives for himself. And they die. We've seen it. Strangers, you are nothing to me. Your women are nothing to me. Go back to your own planet and, and forget about them. Forget about them? Is it all you can say? What kind of being are you? This was a mistake. A mistake for my own people. A mistake for you. We're not going to leave them to die. We're just not going to leave them there. He, he uses the chairs. Uses the chairs, the electrocortexal helmets. Yes. They will feel nothing. I was not without mercy, strangers. Remember me for that. I designed them so that there would be no pain. Locked now. Well, if that thing thinks we're going to be sitting around fattening up like two prize cows, he's got another thing coming. And if we can't get out, we'll make it as hard as possible for them to get in. This couch. Put it in front of the door and make a barricade. Help me with this. Don't move it. Susan, why so quiet? You think they are scientific marvels, my Drivatrons? Yes? Hmm? Not all of them together are but a shadow of the miracle of one of the men I destroyed to make them. And the perfect one. He stood at the end of your madness and called you on. So you know how it must have been. Working and resting. In my sleep, in my in my dreams, I the perfect one screamed to me to give him life. I saw him, I, I heard him, I touched him. But you didn't make him. Why? Because I was afraid. Leave it there. The rest is nothing. No, the rest is everything. You were afraid he would turn on you like you turned on your own kind. No. Yes. You don't know. 
that he would experiment on you like you've experimented on all the others. Sir, don't make me say it. Let me escape back into our consciousness. Say it. That, that the perfect one would be me. Yes, me. From whom could it take its personality but me? I had recreated the image of what I had become myself. A being drained of its soul. A being so hardened to the cries for mercy, for compassion, that I no longer had them. And for what noble end had I, I destroyed all these lives? For what noble end had I sold my soul? For a mockery of a man. But it was too late. My poor, stunted river trance. They were all part of me. They assembled him. Do you know the true meaning of the word damnation? Yes. Then you know why I had to run from there. Why I, when, when I learned what I had done. The, the creature that rules there now is fixed, unalterable, forever. And you ask me to go back to save your women? Yes. You do not know the magnitude of what you ask. Not only to save our women, Tavon, that is why we came here, yes, but now we have another reason, more important, to save you. I suddenly realized this is how they've been watching us all along. We've seen them in all the corridors and everywhere we've been. A television eye? Yes. Maybe it was a microphone as well. Let's see what other damage we can do. entrance that you say is at the base of the mountain. In seven years, anything could have happened. It could have collapsed. There could have been a landslide. The men buried out there built it, and that was 500 years before I used it. And you're sure the perfect one can't know of it? I believe not. I believe his store of inherited knowledge came from me, and that ceased the day he was made. I discovered the tunnel after that and destroyed the plants to those. But surely, he, he's gone on learning. Only permutations and, and possibilities of things about himself. Right then, can we go now and try? I'm ready. It's a cloak, it'll be seen. Should remove it. Here, you take this. If we do get free again and smash those seeing eyes everywhere we go, it won't be nearly as easy for them to find us. Good girl. How do you feel now? Much better. Much more optimistic. It's because we've begun to fight, that's why. Which was somewhere here. Yes. Wait, wait. Okay, all right. What's up there? First, first the, the shaft is at least a hundred feet deep. It must be climbed every inch of the way. If one of us falls. Yes, he's had it. What's about the shaft? It's the atomic magazine. We actually climb into it. The, the what, what magazine? Atomic. It means... We know what it means. Our people on Earth have gotten that far. There's nothing to fear. I assure that when my people stopped using these devices, they were sent to Luxor to be rendered harmless by my derivatrons. It was the only way it, it could be done with complete mechanical certainty that there would be no mistake. And they knew how to do this? 
I have just said so. Uh, uh, there is no danger. My derivatrons were programmed with complete working knowledge of the devices. Must I go on? You both seem so sure. Tim, Did I? if your derivatrons with full knowledge of these devices can make them inactive, then presumably if they were told to do so, they could make them active again. Yes. If they were told to do so. Then there'd be enough stuff up here to blow this place, this, this whole mountain, off the face of the planet. Well, yes, if the order was given, but you don't know the derivatron mind, gentlemen. First, the order would have to come from a higher being. The perfect one ordered it. No. No, this, this cannot be. He told us so, and we believe him. But, but to put himself in such peril is, is so illogical. No, he would, he would never act this way. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry, gentlemen, you have been deceived. Your derivatrons, they made him because collectively they knew what was going on in your mind, correct? Yes, this is what I believe. And they need a superior being to kind of link their thought processes together. Not a superior being, only me, because they are each one of them my creations. Okay, so suppose you're out of the picture, and the, the perfect one concusses his electronic brain, and you're not there to give them full knowledge on how to repair them, and he's not able to order them. Could they fix him? No. Then it is true. He's acted in the most logical, practical way he knows how. Except he hasn't rearmed them. He's somehow linked them to his brain waves. So if something happens to him. Oh, Taven, it's not hopeless. We know where the device is. Can you disarm it? Don't you see what he has done? But from here... He cannot be destroyed! From here, from up there! No! No, if it is linked to his brain, then it... It is as if it's part of him! To interview with him! Would produce the same results. Yes. Yes. It is my insane dream of being God carried to its logical end. Existence of everything here depends wholly and solely upon him. He's a necessary center of life, animate and inanimate. Of everything on this planet. We cannot even defy him. Don't you see? There is no point in, in even going any further. You mean turn back? We have to. We cannot save your women. There can be no final victory for us, for he is only to destroy himself, and he destroys us, too. Did you destroy yourself seven years ago when you ran from this place? No. You hid from death in a prolonged artificial sleep. And whose brain, whose personality is the perfect one created from, hmm? From yours. So we're going to go up that shaft, and we're going to rely for our victory on this very fact. Stake everything on it. And what was impossible for you seven years ago will be impossible for him now. Now I'll go first, and then you, Tabon, and then you, Ian. Oh, there. That should be enough. We'll stretch it across instead. Is it strong? Strong enough. Where do you think? Um. That pipe there, and to the leg of this. There's nowhere else, really. Then, we stand by the windows, and wait for them to come for us. Ooh, and hope they don't look down. Which I haven't seen one do yet. Then, we make for the door. In fact, our standard plan of campaign. Cause confusion, they don't seem to expect the unexpected. And then do as much damage as possible. And then, a quick getaway. Only this time, it won't be so easy for them to find us. I wonder what the stronger, more resourceful sex is doing.
There. Now, we can't be seen or heard. Would this be the device? Yes. And they are? Yes. There's nothing you can do about it. No. You see this? Ah, uh, that is him? Yes. Stop! It seems so harmless. If we have to handle him, do so gently. Not any sudden jolts. I only wish to understand you further. To understand why you senselessly destroy expensive equipment and pay no heed to things of importance. Since I'm to take your lives, it's necessary to explain these impulses. We don't injure him or allow him to damage himself. So that he cannot continue as what he is. At least, that is how I would have arranged it. You will have to come and examine us closely, O perfect one. No, go back, go back! Well, what do you make of that? Can't you stop it? Something's happened to him. We can only pray that it straightens itself out. 